In this video, we're going to provide step-by-step -step instructions to complete the first part of exercise 3 in the KS IDE overview series. This includes adding an MC phasing function block into the template program in order to provide extra moves to the slave axis 2 while maintaining its gearing relationship to the master axis 1. I'm starting from our 2 axis PLC open ladder template program. If I go in the main ladder program and scroll down, I'll see that it already contains code to enable the axis and at the start of a start move button, start a gearing relationship between axis 2 and axis 1. I'm going to add a new network to give me some room to add a phasing function block right below the gearing function. If I go in our library under motion PLC open and then profile, I will find the listing for MC phasing. I can drag and drop this right into my ladder program. A pop up will ask me to give a name to this function block instance axis 2 phase adjust. And I'm going to press yes to create this instance in our dictionary. And now I have to fill in all the inputs to this function block. I'm going to create a contact and create a new variable to execute phase adjust. I'm going to pick axis 1 as the master and axis 2 as the slave, just like the gearing move that I want to make this adjustment on top of. I'm going to make a variable for phase shift amount. And you can make variables for velocity acceleration jerk. I'm just going to fill those in for the sake of time as constant values. Jerk, I'm going to put a zero to ignore it and do a trapezoidal move. And buffer mode, I'm going to do zero so that does it immediately, or abort. I'm also just going to put blank coils on the, all these Boolean outputs so that I can look at them while the program's running, but I don't have to take the time to create new variables and clock up my dictionary. That's all I need to do. Now I'm already connected to my simulator. I'm going to compile and download, and then plus run to make sure that everything working is in my program. Now I will have to enable the axis first. So I'm going to go to the control panel, press enable. And now I see that both of my motors are green or enabled in the simulator. So now if I go back to main and do start move, my axes are running. Axis two is geared at a two to one ratio to axis one. I'm going to slow it down a little bit just so it's easier to see. And now I can go to my MC phasing instance that I added and give a non zero for the phase amount. Let's do 90 degrees. And now if I execute it, axis 2 stays geared at a 2 to 1 ratio to axis 1, but it moves an extra 180 degrees. I can make this negative and it will slow down if I recall it. And that's how we do the first part of exercise three. In the next video, I'm going to go over the steps to finish the exercise, including adding objects to the control panel to pick the amount of phase adjustment and to execute it.